Hey there and welcome to CD's Code WhatsApp bot for free. This is episode 0 and today we are going to cover the basics of getting started with WhatsApp web.js package. If you are interested in creating our own WhatsApp bot, this is the right place for you. In this episode, we will go over how to set up the necessary things and get started with package. Before we get started, you will need to make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. You can download it for free from Node.js website. Make sure you download Node.js version above 12. Next open up your terminal and navigate to the directory where you would like to create your project. Once you are there, create a new directory for bot. Now navigate into your new directory with command cd directory name and initiate package.json file. The next step is to install whatsapp web.js package. In your terminal type npm install whatsapp web.js. This will install the package and all its dependencies and it may take few minutes to complete. Once the installation is finished, we can start coding our bot. Now launch Visual Studio code and open the directory that you just created. Once you are done with that, create a new file name index.js. Okay. Firstly, we import the client class from the WhatsApp web.js library. We then create a new instance of client class and assign it to the client variable. Next, we set up two event listeners for client object. The first event listener is for the QR event, which is triggered when QR code is required for authentication. When this event is triggered, we simply log the QR to the console. The second event listener is for the ready event, which is triggered when the client is ready to be used. When this event is triggered, we log a message to the console to let us know that the client is ready. Finally, we call the initialize method on client object to initialize the client and start the authentication process. And that's it. Let's try to run this code and see what happens. On running the program, we receive a string string. This string is actually text representation of QR code that is required for authentication. However, we need the actual QR code image so that we can scan it with our mobile devices. To generate the QR code image, we can use a package called QR code terminal. This package allows us to easily create a QR code image from the string that we received and displayed in the terminal. I will just go ahead and install the package. Some changes here. And we're done. Let's try to run this and And that's it for episode 0. We have covered how to set up your development environment and get started with WhatsApp web.js package. In the next episode, we will dive deeper into the WhatsApp web API and, uh, and learn about sessions, events and messages. Until then, bye.